um, all right, let's make yet another analysis. Uh -huh. Are you aware that the Dangote refinery has about 650,000 barrel per day refining capacity? Okay. And the estimated cost to build that refinery is about $15 billion. Continue. And the Pacific refinery in Ecuador has about 500,000 barrels per day capacity. And it was built for $12 billion. Okay. Kuwait is also building the Alzo refinery for $16 billion. And the refining capacity of that one is about 615,000 barrels per day. Continue. Now, Nigeria produces an average of about 1.2 million barrels of crude oil per day. 1.2 million barrels. Yes! That means with just two refineries with the average refining capacity of the ones mentioned above, Nigeria does not have any business importing fuel. Yeah, <laughs> now the federal government is proposing 6.7 trillion naira on fuel subsidy in 2023. That is what they have proposed in the 2023 budget. 6.7 trillion naira is equal to 15.6 billion dollars. Yeah. Now, the one way the boss my brain now is the federal government is planning to borrow 11 trillion naira to support the expenses for 2023 budget. 11 trillion naira. <laughs> it's all right. Now, from the calculations above, 11 trillion naira can build two good refineries in Nigeria from start to finish. Jesus is Lord. See, this country cannot change unless something drastically changes about our leadership 2023 we need to vote wisely